Hi everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Well, it looks like we're going to get our first frost this evening, and so I wanna go ahead and harvest as much as I can from the garden today. We have dahlias that need harvested, lots of things that are gonna be harvested and we're gonna to dry together. Gomphrena, celosia, salvia, sedums, some other fresh cuts need to come out of the garden like Lunaria, Cosmos. Maybe we can try to grab a few marigolds, but this is really going to be the final harvest video for 2022. So let's grab some buckets, some snips, and of course, sweet grace and get right to work. I absolutely love this Myrtle's Folly Dahlia. I wasn't really sure about it at first. But then once I started really cutting it in earnest, I thought this is a great dahlia. Even unconditioned, I was getting five days in the vase. Now, isn't that gorgeous? Myrtle's Folly is a laciniated dahlia form. And so it has these really awesome petals that almost look like they're curved or twisted because they're almost kind of cut at the end of the petal. But form aside, it's definitely a dahlia with a lot of personality, and I really love that. Some of these ones that are past their prime, I'm gonna go ahead and cut also, because all these sweet loves, I'm gonna go ahead and dry. Have you guys grown Lifestyle? Lifestyle is an anemone type of dahlia. Here's a few of them. But for me, I didn't really love the way, hi Grace, hi. <laughs> I didn't really love the way the foliage looked on these. The flowers didn't last a long time in the vase. And my main issue was that the stems were really, really skinny. So I'm wondering if that's just an anomaly here or if overall, that's how this variety performs. But I don't think I'll dig up this tuber and save it. And I'd love to hear your experience on Lifestyle if you've grown it. Although I think Grace is trying to tell me she likes Lifestyle. My favorite. I see I have a cucumber beetle in here. Let me go ahead and pick that for you just in case you've never seen one before. Can you see him right there? He's kind of a lime colored bug with spots. That's the cucumber beetle there. And they do seem to prefer lighter colored dahlias here in my garden. They're attacking the white ones, but not really anything else. And thankfully they didn't really come until late in the season this year. So I didn't have to do any kind of a control for them, but I do the same control for all the dahlias, just bag them with organza bags. But for this one, just swiped them off and we're good to go. Not too much damage that I can see. We can still enjoy it inside. Kind of flimsy heads on this seed dahlia. So I guess since we grew this one from seed together, we can all name it. What do you think? Snowball? It kind of looks like snowball sunrise to me with the yellow center. Although I guess that doesn't really make too much sense. <laughs> Either way, isn't she beautiful? So I'm trying to figure out what to do with the cup and saucer vine. I could go ahead and, oh look, they're full of ants, interesting. I could go ahead and maybe harvest the blooms, but I was kind of hoping to see this vine covered in blooms before the season ends. And with the forecast being 33 tonight with just the possibility of 32, I don't know. I think I might leave it all and see if it makes it through. Cornell is so beautiful. Best red dahlia in my opinion. What do you think friends? Are you a Cornell fan? 
Now, I think these are gonna go to my mom because she really, really likes red and I definitely have plenty of dahlias right now, but I need to show you the sweetest bumblebee ever. I think maybe it's with one of its babies and it has its little arm around its baby. I mean, that is just what it's all about, isn't it? <laughs> That's the best part of my day. Well, I think this is pretty much it in terms of dahlias. So now let's move on to some Gumphrena, Celosia, Salvia, Hydrangeas, and some other foliage I want to arrange with. Cutting syringe reminds me of pulling tulips. It's that same kind of fun, squeaky texture. This probably looks like it's staged, but it's not. This is Grace's favorite place to sit when I harvest flowers. <laughs> Isn't it Grace? Do you wanna go pick some gonfrina with me? We gotta go all the way over there. Come on, let's go. Gonfrina is just like your hydrangea where the pink portion of the flower, or whatever color you're growing is the bract. And then if you look really, really closely at the bracts themselves, you'll see the actual flower, which on this one is white, sometimes they're yellow, but they're just so fun. And I just love kind of old school heirloom flowers. They just bring me a lot of joy. <laughs> I don't know what Grace is getting up to, something. I'm trying to see how many plants I had back here. I think only about 12. It's a lot of gonfrina for just 12 plants. I'm gonna have to throw it out. It's too much to hold. So this is just that one small section. I bet we could use this on the Christmas tree as Christmas lights. And that's what I'm really hoping to do this year is to do kind of a pink and purple themed tree with gomphrina, the sapinaria, lots and lots of dahlias, and then just some other purple and pink touches this year, along with a lot of greens and browns and other really cool textures that I want to gather. But back to harvesting. I think I pushed this celosia planting a little bit too late because some of these are really not ready at all. So I'll just harvest what looks good and then hope they survive the night and are able to grow for a few weeks longer so we can really get a good harvest. Yeah, this is really not ready. I'm gonna leave the leaves on the Mexican bush sage too and dry it with the leaves, just in case I wanna use those at a later time. Oh, I wish you could smell this, it smells amazing. I've been experimenting drying this annual salvia as well. I'm not sure what the variety is. I picked it up for a dollar at a roadside stand. The leaves don't dry well, so I'm gonna go ahead and strip the leaves on this one and just bunch it and hang it to dry. Isn't that a gorgeous color? If you recognize the salvia, would you please let us know what you think it is in the comment section? It is kind of a deep purple, slightly on the blue side. The calyxes are a little bit velvety and it does have, let's see if I, how close I can get here. And here's the close up. Oh, that is glorious.
Well, friends, today is just gonna be lots more of the same, mainly harvesting lots more of the gomfrina. So we harvested some really long and I'm gonna leave the foliage on so that I just have those to play with. I'm also harvesting some in shorter bundles. I'm harvesting just some heads, just so I have a nice variety to play with over the winter season. But Grace, Grace, you wanna say goodbye to everybody? But friends, I just wanna thank you so much for hanging out with me and Grace today. We wanna to wish you a wonderful day in your gardens and we'll see you sometime soon for a whole lot of bulb planting. Bye.